Howdy fellas, Mugman here, and welcome back to Mugman Plays Cuphead, the delicious last course. Last episode, didn't get uploaded, didn't even happen, because unfortunately Bandicam decided to be a douche. Now, I'm letting myself swear this once because of the frustration, but I did manage to keep the video file, so before we start this episode, here's a quick glimpse of what happened last episode. <laughs> Freeze. Ugh, seriously, of all the rotten luck, you know, just trying to do work and it just blows up in your face. Blows up right in your face. You know, just, it's ridiculous to me that Bandicam, for some reason, decides to reset itself for no discernible reason. Ugh. So, yeah, that, that's a thing that happened. At the very least, I did salvage the video file, so that way you guys can see what I accomplished. Because I did get stuff done, which was awesome. But yeah, it just sucks. Uh, uh, it sucks a royal straw that I kind of screwed up there, you know? I don't know, just... It's infuriating, to say the least. But, that aside, we're gonna focus our efforts on Mortimer here and actually get things done. And not get ourselves killed in the process. And just not the one that needed to be here. Ouch. Focus now. I said focus now. That's not focusing. This will get red hot. <sighs> Any and doodles. Of all the DLC bosses in this game, I'd have to say Mortimer and the Howling Aces dogs are without a doubt the hardest. Because Mortimer here is very unpredictable with what he's gonna do with his magic cloak in the first phase. The second phase is also a little bit on the weird side because of what the Abominable Snowman brings to the table. You have to kind of predict whether he's gonna roll or jump. So. It's kind of tricky in that regard. Not to mention, the parry opportunities are very scarce. So you have to kind of plan when to parry and when not to. Because if you do it at the wrong time, you're screwed. And like I said, predicting whether he's going to roll or not can be kind of hard. So you kind of have to work with it just to see what way he's going. Point exactly. Ah, oh, son of a biscuit! Roll. Oh, come on! I wanted to parry that. I don't think I should just stick to freaking converge. All right. All right. Rolled. Good. I will say though, at least this phase is not as hard to dodge things as in the third phase. The third phase can just get really tricky. One of which. Get ready for Mr. Icicle. But I will say I do love the Icicle. Like, it's a really cool way to end off the... Arguably the coolest, no pun intended, boss fight. Like, it's such a cool design. You know, and you wouldn't expect it from a character like this. You know, like, you'd probably expect something a bit simpler, but no, I love that they go all in. It's sort of... Reminds me of the moon phase in Hildeberg's fight. How you go through this whole thing with her being a blimp, and then at the end she turns into this giant mechanical, you know, crescent moon. In a way it's similar to that. You know, because he goes from this freaking ice wizard, because let's face it, he is totally an ice wizard, to a abominable snow beast, to a sentient snowflake. You know, there's a lot of cool things in this fight. It's a pain in the butt, don't get me wrong, but it's a cool pain in the butt, if that makes any sense. And I love the sound that freaking Abominable makes. It's just kind of cute. Anywho, let's try to focus our efforts on winning here. 
That way we can move on to the fight I'm not looking forward to. Well, one of them anyways, because let's face it, the other fight I'm not looking forward to is Chef Saltbaker on expert mode, because you all saw how much stuff that was having to be avoided in that fight. I'm not looking forward to dealing with that. Like, at all. Like, that fight's gonna be the death of a mug. Ugh, speaking of death of a mug. Right? Whoa! That roll is so effective! Like, seriously! Playing with Chalice, the roll can be a very useful thing if you know how to utilize it. Which I'm slowly getting the hang of Miss Chalice's playstyle. It's tricky, but once you get the ropes of it, it's very easy to utilize. You just have to be very attentive on when you dodge and how you dodge. You know, you gotta time your rolls and dashes effectively. Which, there you go. Now we're cooking with bacon. Whoop. Whoop. There we go. Far so good. Come on, baby. Show me the big bucks. That ain't the big bucks. That's just snow cones. I'm talking about being put on ice. Ow! Fudge nuggets. Close. Getting close. It's certainly a step in the right direction. I guess the main thing that frustrates me about this fight is trying to get three parries to get the best grade. Cause... There's so few and far between. I don't know, I guess... With a fight like this, you kinda have to predict when is the best time to do your parrying. Cause... If you're a second off, you're definitely screwed. I didn't know you could, you could smash those that way. That's kinda cute. Like if he hits them with the whale, it actually sends him forward. That's kind of a nice touch. It's little details like that that make me appreciate the amount of effort and time and love and care that went into this game. Like, make no mistake, the fact this is all hand-drawn is truly a mark of brilliance. You know, there was supposed to be a parryable popsicle in that first group. Where is it? I'm not seeing a parryable popsicle. Oh, of course I shoot it, too. Just my rotten luck. I've not gotten a single gosh darn parry this round. Ugh. You know, it's probably for the best, because I was not doing very well in the parry department, so you know what? I I'll take that. I'll take the L on that. Alright, just gotta dodge. You know, it'd be nice if he threw down a pink card every once in a while. You know, made it easy on me. Though I guess that's not really my fortune, is it? Because he's throwing tarot cards. I love it. He throws the sun as the parryable. Not any other card. At least I don't think. I'll have to pay attention to that. Alright. The three of daggers. I think. Alright. Whoa. Hey, I rolled through that. Screw off. Alright. Oh. Alright, let's use the heart. Ah, hello, Mr. Abominable. Alright. I swear to god, I always get roll when he jumps, and I always jump when he rolls. That's some rotten luck on that one! Getting hit in the parryable popsicles, and getting hit by the regular popsicles. Ugh. And you see why I didn't like this fight originally? Doing it an expert is just as annoying. Alright. Whoa, 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 what? Uh, why'd he cancel out his attack? Like, it canceled out for some reason. What was... Oh, son of a beehive! Alright, on to the third phase, so... We're in the clear for now. Alright, let's just focus. I'm getting that basket. Whoa! Oh, what the flippin' heck! Ugh. You know, what's making me really upset right now is I had an episode where I beat two bosses in a row. You know, I beat two bosses in this frickin' thing in one episode on expert mode, 
and now all you get is a clip show of that success. Meanwhile, here in an episode where I'm actually trying to beat a boss, you know, it's just not working. It's not happening. How, what kind of fresh bull pucky is that? Ugh. I don't know. I guess it's just annoying to me that I could try so hard at something and then get stuff like that. Alright, whoop! Ugh, I hate the fact that sometimes he jumps! Such an annoyance. I'm still trying. That's the only thing you can do in life is keep trying. And when the odds are against you. Alright. Oh, for the love of Pete. Okay, so when he lifts his arms up, that's when he does the bounce. Honestly, of all of Chalice's super arts, the little heart is definitely the best. Because not only does it give you a free hit, it also keeps your health intact. At least as long as you have it. As soon as you lose it, then you're up shit creek without a paddle. Oh! Whoops. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna pretend that didn't happen, and I didn't just say the S word. We're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Can you blame me when his eyeball is electrocuting me every single chance it gets? I do kind of like that he goes upside down at one point during this phase, because it's kind of cool to see him, like, switch directions. It's the little things. Not only that, but it also changes the direction of the attacks, which I find to be quite unique. Alright, almost there we go! Alright! Now we are getting somewhere. Chill out, Mortimer. Ugh, I have mercy, that took a while. Yeah, definitely no way I'm doing good in this one. Like, look at those results, that's pitiful. Yeah, so now I got an A-. Uh, not gonna complain about it. That, that, that's alright by me. That is completely fine by me. Alright, so there's only one boss left for Salt Baker, and that is... The Howling Aces! I'm really not going to like this in expert mode, am I? No, probably not. <laughs> Alright, let's just get right into the pain of it. Into the thick of it, folks. Alright. Just gotta keep dodging all these attacks. Cross bones, and tennis balls, and yarn balls, and all sorts of things. Okay, here comes the cross bones. Somehow I'm doing okay at this. Almost took a hit there, because I was getting cocky. And yet somehow dodged it. Right? Oh, duck, 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 duck. Right, just gotta keep blasting missiles and blasting this big dude. Alright, took a hit. That's okay. I've got the magic heart. I'm not too concerned. I'm gonna make this work. Right, just gotta keep on shooting, keep on blasting. You know, I feel like this phase has a lot more health than it should. Okay. So that's uh, squared away. Now I gotta deal with the dogs. Or the pups. Alright. Uh, Freaking dodge all these letters of doom. Seriously, of all the things that these little pups can do, they decide to shoot letters at you. Probably not what I would have anticipated. Uh, oh! Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Whoa! There we go. Alright, now we gotta get turned. Why I am sticking to the one attack I have right now with a shot. Crack shot, crack shot. That's a little bit. I'm just gonna stick to that and dodge like a mofo. Ouch. Remember, stay away from the laser beams, he says as he gets pelted by one. It would be great if I could actually beat this fight. It would be so great. Come on, how much health do you have? Okay, dodge that one. Oh, right in the way of it. Oh! Well, uh... <laughs> well, that was lucky. I, uh... 
I was not expecting that. Well, um, great. I, I did it, I guess. Well, uh, that's an A minus, I guess. A uh, B plus. Oh, you win some, you lose some, folks. At the very least, it is done. And that is all of them, I think. Like, is there a way to check that? Alright, let's see. Uh, list. There we go. Alright. Yeah, no, that's pretty much all of them on Expert. So, yeah, um... Now all that's left is... Monsieur Saltbaker. Which, uh... <laughs> yeah, we're gonna... We're, we're gonna at least make an attempt. We're gonna make an attempt! We'll try at least a few times. Just... Just cuz. Oh, there I am in the freaking glass jar! Okay, so... This is all crack shot. I'm just gonna crack shot the heck out of this. Oh yeah, no, this is gonna be a real pain. I can already tell. Oh boy. Yeah, things definitely come at you at a faster rate in this version of the fight. Alright, there we flip and go. Alright. Uh, keep at it. I gotta say, the music for this fight is just ominous as heck. Like, truly. Fudge. <sighs> we were close to being the first phase. I guess. One more try. One more try. Okay, so I am seeing a key difference already. There's two of those little fireball things as opposed to one. Now that definitely doesn't make things easy right off the bat, knowing that there's two of them. That's probably gonna come into play in the later portion of this fight. So, I'm gonna watch for that. Oh, man. Just... Ugh. You know, wait, I feel bad for Saltmaker, because technically most of his body is hollow. You know, yeah, he's got salt in the center, but his arms, legs and such, that's all hollowed out because it's, you know, glass. In a way, he's a very hollow boss. I'm just surprised that he went so evil. Like, he looks so sweet in the intro. What the flip has it happened? Shoot. Alright, let's keep our focus here. Let's not be spazzolies. And there it is. Oh, we just got to the second phase, too, just to really piss me right off. Okay, yeah, no, we're, we're gonna have to practice before we do this, so uh, tune in next time as we prepare to beat Saltbaker one last time. So, till then, thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and a comment in the boxes below. Let me know your favorite moments from this episode. Also, be sure to subscribe, click the notification bell, and make sure all notifications are turned on. That way you know when I am dealing with this salty chef one more time. Also, share this video around to continue viewership and support is greatly appreciated. And of course, a very special thanks to the Tier 2 and Tier 3 Patreon supporters. Those being Five Way Dragon, Cinema Gun Reviews, The American Meerkat, Aaron Lena, Grimmy Leon, Hitsu Yona Kurodento, Honor Higgins, I Ship 88, Jesse Barbo 6, Jesse Alvarez, Mighty Clarifite, Nagi Oki, Seth Ryan Dodson, Sonic Destroyer 12, Sonic Star 21, Boss Maker, Dorian Jean, BTS Fan 0613, Dwolf 1414, Kylie Childs, Michaela Donnelly, Panda 475, Princess Funnybone, Ruby the Wolf, Silver Fox MC, and Tim and Rangers. If you'd like to support the Patreon family as well as get videos 24 hours in advance, exclusive Let's Plays, and a chance to use a Let's Play for this channel, check the link in the description below to our Patreon. And with that said, this is Mugman, and I'll be seeing ya! Bye bye